Hello, welcome to Bishop Kelly High School. We're gonna go on inside. It's a little chilly out here, and we'll, we'll go on into our front commons here at Bishop Kelly. Thanks for being here. As I said, welcome here to Bishop Kelly. I'm here in the front commons at Bishop Kelly High School, joined by Jesus, John the Baptist, and Our Lady of Guadalupe. So you're in great company. As you can see, we are not in person this evening. We have another strange year of COVID, and so we had to pivot and adapt and, and do this thing virtually for the second year in a row. And uh, in desperate times, they asked me to be your MC for the next 30 minutes. So, so welcome, we're excited to share our event with you, share a little bit about our school. We have some, some great speakers that are going to be joining us this evening, um, and we're excited to get to those, but before we do, I want to introduce our chaplain here at Bishop Kelly, Father Greg Vance, who will be leading us from St. Teresa's Chapel and uh, starting us off with prayer and a blessing. So without further ado, let's introduce the man, the myth, the legend, Father Greg Vance. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Father Greg Vance, and I am the chaplain here at Bishop Kelly High School, and it is indeed my pleasure to join with others to welcome you to this Perspective Student Information Night. As we begin all things, we begin in prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, loving and gracious and life-giving God, we cast ourselves upon your infinite bound and boundless mercy and care and protection. And we ask that you might make it safe for us to gather physically again in your presence, to worship you, and to be together as a school. Send your spirit of discernment upon our prospective families and parents and guardians, and especially on the young women and men who are considering coming here for high school. Give them true discernment of spirits to know that the choices they make will affect the people that they become. And help us all to reflect your love and your reconciling grace in our world and to reflect your kingdom in our hearts and in our lives. God bless our families, and God bless the young women and men who grace these halls. And we ask these blessings in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great night, and choose well. Hello, hello, eyes here. There we go. Yeah, yeah very impressive indeed, uh, but let's get back to the show. Normally, for New Student Information Night, you'd be joining us here in the Carly Center at Bishop Kelly. So welcome back. Tonight we have three different speakers that are going to be um, sharing their stories about Bishop Kelly and what it means to them. Our first speaker is a senior here at Bishop Kelly, uh, Madison Dixon. She is very involved in, at Bishop Kelly in a variety of things. She's done choir. She's taken several of our AP classes and is a rock star on our state championship speech and debate team. Madison is a rock star student. And one of the things that we pride ourselves on here at Bishop Kelly is preparing our students to be successful in college and beyond. And look no further as an example as Madison. She is a wonderful student and happens to be a second generation Bishop Kelly student. Both her mom and her dad went to Bishop Kelly. So without further ado, let me introduce Madison Dixon. My name is Madison Dixon and I'm a senior here at Bishop Kelly. I'm so excited to hear about all of you interested in BK. I'm a second generation BK student seeing as both of my parents went here. In fact, some of the same teachers my parents had are still here. And this jacket that I'm wearing didn't even start out as mine. It was my mom's first. My parents decided when I was a little kid that they were going to send me to BK. I remember being tiny and them taking me to a home soccer game and walking me through the halls, showing me my future school. Little did I know the impact that decision would have on me. Every year I have been at this school, I have become increasingly thankful for my parents' decision to send me here. I have been successful as a student and I have grown as a person in both my activities and my academics. I have participated in choir, theater, and debate here at BK, and I'm honored to say that I have been serving as my school speech captain for this season. 
I've been able to take AP classes, and I've even been able to get some of my college credits out of the way. Despite any accomplishments I may have, the thing I will always be the proudest of that has come out of BK for me has been my relationships. My relationship with my teachers and my peers has meant the world to me. They have made such an imprint on my high school experience. BK has the best teachers, seriously. Every morning when I walk through the halls and I get a wave from Mr. Harris, he has a witty quip for me or a joke, or I run into Mrs. Cooper and she gives me a hug and a compliment to brighten my day. Each and every day the teachers here at BK show up for us in every way they can. And not only do the teachers mean the world to me, but so do my peers. BK has brought me close to so many amazing people and lifelong friends. I actually like coming to school because I love running into my teachers in the hallways or complaining about my weekend to my friends. The people here at BK have challenged me in every way to grow as a person, to grow closer to God, and to push myself to enjoy the small things in life. I'm going off to college this next year with a plethora of lessons and a solid foundation for my values as a person, and I could not be more thankful for it. BK has helped me grow into someone that that little girl who wandered the hallways so long ago with her parents would be so proud of. Thank you. Wonderful job, Madison. You nailed it. I had no doubts. Normally at New Student Information Night, you would get to hear firsthand from students about their experiences at Bishop Kelly, why they chose Bishop Kelly, and what their experience was like over their four years here at BK. So in lieu of that, we have actually prepared a short TikTok video where you're going to hear from several of our students about their experiences at Bishop Kelly. Hi, I'm Francesca. I'm the captain of the cheer team and I play lacrosse in the spring. Coming to BK, I loved the school's atmosphere of school pride. Um, and I feel at BK, we have a lot of school spirit, so I think you should come to BK. Hi, I'm Sebastian Carranza. Um, I'm a senior here at Bishop Kelly High School, and I'm a part of the soccer team and student council. Um, for me, it's been really important to become like a part of these two programs, um, and also like other clubs, just because it's really helped me like find my place at BK and also become a part of this wonderful community that we have. And it's given me a lot of great experiences that I can use in the future. Hi, my name is Justice Walker, and I'm on the cross country team, the track team, speech and debate, um, student council, and I'm also in pep club and the Red Cross club. And I really like being a part of the cross country team because it's truly a family, and regardless of your ability to like run or how fast you run, everybody's super supportive and always super kind and fun to be around. Hi, I'm Colton Crawford. I'm on the BK soccer team and the BK track team. I joined both the BK track team and the soccer team so that I could be around people that I love and around people that enjoy the same interests as me. Hi, I'm Madison. I'm part of the basketball team at BK and my favorite thing about being on the basketball team is having a second family and other people you can really get along with. Hi, my name is Chris Martino and I'm on the wrestling team, the cross country team and pep club. I really enjoy being a part of the wrestling team because I get to grow closer to my coaches and my teammates while being able to do something that I love. Hi, I'm Grace Gunther, and I'm the captain of the swim team and the president of the French Club. And I love both of them because it has really taught me how to be a leader. And I love swim team because we are really close, and it has taught me what high school sports should be like. Hi, my name is Jake, and I'm involved in the art club. And for all you newcomers, I would just recommend joining a club that fits your interests so you can do a lot of fun things in and outside of school. My name is Allison Chow, and I'm involved in the school's human rights club, orchestra, and cross country team. I love human rights club because I get to meet other people, talk about past and present injustices, eat lots of good food, and just have fun with my community. I also love cross country because my teammates and coaches are super uplifting and positive, and it's just a really fun environment to be in. And then I love orchestra because I love being around musically minded people, and it's so fun to share my gifts and talents with other people as well. Hi, my name is Josh Mitra, and at BK, I'm involved in band and speech and debate. And one of my favorite things about band is being able to show off my school spirit in a really unique way in a super inviting community. 
Hi guys, I'm Izzy. I'm involved in soccer and track and I'm president of Pep Club and this is what we do to show our school spirit. All right, welcome back. We're in the main building here and we're actually in Freshman Hall. If you're here next year, this will be your hall. This will be filled with other freshmen, a lot of people to meet from all over the place. And so you're gonna have a lot of opportunity to meet new people. And who knows, this could be your locker next year. Who knows? We're gonna walk down here to um, the College and Career Center where I'm gonna have Sarah and Gabe, two of our wonderful seniors, introduce our College Career Center and talk a little bit about how our counselors, both on the college and the academic side, support you as a student and help you prepare, not just to be successful at Bishop Kelly, but to get, be successful beyond Bishop Kelly. Thank you for joining us at Information Night. My name's Gabe. And I'm Sarah. And we're seniors here at Bishop Kelly. A great thing about Bishop Kelly is our College and Career Center. Let's take a look inside. This area is home to our college and academic counselors. Reaching your counselor is super easy. All it takes is for you to set up an appointment using your phone. Your counselor is there to talk about personal issues, academic issues, your future, or just about anything you need. You can also talk to our college counselor, Mrs. Clover, throughout all four years of high school. She'll help you gather application materials, find colleges with programs you like, and even work on your essays. Being a senior preparing for college can be stressful, but my counselor is always there for all my random questions and pop-ins. A little bit about yourself. Um, I'm originally from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Miss Clover helps bring in plenty of colleges over the year. Two schools that I've got to look at are USC and Georgetown. And the cool thing is that I didn't have to leave school to go see them. They came here and I got to learn a lot about those schools. Hi, my name is Julie Clover. I'm one of the counselors here at Bishop Kelly and I work as the college and career counselor for all of the students here at BK. We provide a comprehensive college counseling program. I really strive to work with your students through the entire process. What this looks like is that we will meet with your students individually. We have classroom presentations as well as workshops. In addition to supporting students, we look forward to supporting families as well. So what this means is that we have parent book clubs, parent information nights to really support you through the process as well. About 96% of our students do attend either a two year or a four year school after graduating from Bishop Kelly. And this includes some of the most selective schools across the country. We do have school kids at Notre Dame and Stanford, as well as appointments to the Military Academy. I really look forward to working with you and your students and look forward to seeing you here at Bishop Kelly next year. All right, thanks Gabe and Sarah, wonderful job. We're gonna leave the main building and head over to our brand new Father Wilson Science and Technology Wing. This building was built um, just four years, short years ago, and it has all of our science, technology, engineering um, classes. And uh, so you as a student would have a number of classes out here. So we've pride ourselves in um, the facilities that we've been able to, to build and maintain here at Bishop Kelly, even being a school that's nearly 60 years old. I want to introduce our next speaker, Mr. Ryan Kearns. Ryan, is, Mr. Kearns is a math teacher. He's our head basketball coach. He's also the moderator of our Red Cross Club and is a, uh, uh, plays a mean Michael Scott as he did in our academic awards assembly last spring. And I'll just say that our teachers are the pride of what we do. They're our secret sauce at Bishop Kelly. We, we pride ourselves in small class sizes 
and we have wonderful teachers. So without further, um, my further comments, I'd like to introduce our next speaker, Mr. Ryan Kearns. Hi everyone, my name is Pachi Kearns and I'm a math teacher at Bishop Kelly, a basketball coach and the leader of the Red Cross Club. And I absolutely love being a teacher here and so thankful that I got the opportunity to come back after graduating in 2001 and be a teacher here and kind of um, help make BK a better place. If you're an interested family and wondering kind of what Bishop Kelly is and why you might come here, I think I have three really important things that are worth listening to. Um, and I'll share those with you now. The first one is I think Bishop Kelly, um, from person to person, feels like this extended family. Like students talk about it, teachers talk about it. I graduated from here 20 years ago about, and there's probably 15 to 20 teachers who also graduated from here anywhere from 40 to like eight years ago. And they're teachers here now. And it's just such a great feeling of people that went to school here, loved it, they want to make it better, and they come back. And then you get to see those interactions over and over again every day. Secondly, I think that the academics at Bishop Kelly are absolutely top notch. Um, there's that saying that is, uh, rising tide lifts all boats. And I think that's true for your family, whether your student is a super high achiever, they'll be pushed and encouraged and excel because they'll have those type of learners around them. And also teachers that really try to push those high learners to their next level. And also just like for regular students who enjoy school and, and are open to making friendships and, and engaging in class, this is a great place to be because everywhere that you look, there's people trying hard in their classes, putting in good effort and enjoying it. And I think all of those things just make students do better every day in their classwork. Um, lastly, I think it's notable that Bishop Kelly is uh, on average, about 150 points higher than the national SAT average, and about 175 points higher than the state of Idaho's national or state of Idaho's average on the SAT. And I think all of those things just contribute to this awesome academic environment, and just something that just builds students better and better every year in the classroom. Lastly, you know, Bishop Kelly gets to make decisions specific to the 950 students or 1,000 students that we have. And, and that's different from almost any other school in the state, definitely, and, and probably in the nation. You know, um, we get to talk about morality and faith and different faiths here at Bishop Kelly, and you just don't get to do that as a public school teacher. I know that because I taught in public school for eight years, and there's always this line that you can't cross about talking about morality or, or why things are right or why she, we should act the way we do. And at Bishop Kelly, you know, we get to explore all of those avenues with students um, to help them just consider their own actions and, and be a better person in general. Second, you know, at Bishop Kelly, we get to do things specific to our student population needs and wants. So one example is our first assembly of the year, the semester, excuse me, we talked about kindness, inclusivity, and friendship. And that was just specific to a need that we felt like we wanted to improve in the second semester. And we never got to do anything like that in the public school. And so just specific, you know, uh, discussion points like that for classes or, or for groups of people are, are an opportunity that we have. Another really cool thing that our administration has taken on this year is called community time, where twice a week students get a 40-minute period where they get to explore something they're interested in, like... Um, guitar or basketball or drawing or um, gardening or mountain biking or a reading club. And, and we just get to do that because we thought that would be best for the group of students we have this year and just improve enjoyment and engagement at Bishop Kelly. So in the end, you know, I just think Bishop Kelly is a great place for so many reasons, but specifically because it feels like one big family. You know, everybody in your class and in your classes, you know, all your teachers, and you get to see them multiple times over four years. Secondly, I think academics just continue to get better every year and continue to raise our student level, and we see that in a lot of different areas. And then lastly, we get to make specific decisions to the students we have in that year and over the course of four years. And because of that, students come out of here better people, better students, harder workers. And I think that's something we all want for our students in high school. So hope to have you at Bishop Kelly and enjoy this awesome experience that we have. Thank you for listening. 
Our last stop this evening is going to be here in the Bishop Kelly Cafeteria, where I'm going to introduce our last guest speaker tonight. But as you walk in here, you can sense and feel this quiet. This is not what you would normally see or feel here in the Bishop Kelly Cafeteria. It's actually a stark contrast from what I'm used to as the principal when I walk in here. Um, it's not the same without the students in here, and that's what makes it so special, is the students gathering, hanging out, laughing, and enjoying company. This is a place where you're going to meet friends, and this is a place where you're going to build community. Community is something that we pride ourselves on here at Bishop Kelly, and oftentimes when I ask students or even families what they value most about Bishop Kelly, they'll talk about the community, and they'll also talk about family and the importance of family and how Bishop Kelly is in itself a family. Speaking of family, making the decision of where your child goes to high school is one of the most important decisions that you can make. As a parent, I get it, I understand. Our next speaker, Mr. Randy Martin, is gonna tell you about his experiences and why he chose Bishop Kelly and moved his family across the country to have them go to our school. Hello, my name is Randy Martin. Uh, I have two, two sons at BK, my wife and I are in due. We have Drew, a junior, and Reed, a freshman. And Kelly Shockey asked me to speak to you briefly on how we came to BK, what, what led our decision to come to BK. My wife and I were from Louisiana, both educators. I served 18 years as a building level administrator and dean of students for the, for the parish in the public school system. And as we looked, we knew we wanted to, to move out of Louisiana and move to an area, different area of the country, we weren't sure where we wanted to go. We shopped all over the country. We wanted our kids to be in a school where it was big enough to have opportunities, yet small enough where they would get to participate in those opportunities. Since we coming here, um, we've been welcomed. We have no family in the area. So we moved here. We moved to Idaho literally to be BK students and be part of the BK family. All the things we were looking for in a high school setting for our boys fit immediately. The culture was there. The community was there. The opportunities were there. The facilities were impressive. The tradition was overwhelming. Coach Brennan, when he met my son, um, he immediately said, you know, I'd love to have you play football. When I got along with Coach Brennan, I told him Drew probably wouldn't play football. And, and Coach Brennan said, I want him on campus. I want your son on campus. I don't care what he does. He'll find something where he fits. And that, that spoke huge to me from my educational background, uh, where education's gotten, or athletics have gotten so prioritized and, and people want to steal kids from other, other endeavors. Um, the opportunities here at BK, there's, there's drama, there's choir, there's band. Uh, my kids going to Peru over spring break. Things that you just don't get to experience in a public school setting. My kids have Catholic Christian influence daily. My kids are in a peer group with other students who want to participate in their educational process. They're not, they're not here because they're forced to go to school every day. They're here realizing that somebody's making a sacrifice for them to come here and go to school and just that amongst the cohorts of those kids, when they get locked in, they're working towards achieving a goal of enjoying high school, make the most of high school, be engaged in high school, be involved in high school. But the ultimate goal is to prepare yourself for an adulthood, for, for your next step. So, you know, what, what do you want to be? Where do you want to go? And this school, this campus does a great job of taking a middle-aged adolescent as an input and exporting a young person ready to go out and tackle the world, um, be it as a career or into college. These teachers are focused on pushing your kids, helping them to excel academically. Um, the whole staff, the whole administration is focused on helping your kids become an adult, work through the challenges of, of adolescence, work through high school, because um, as you're moving out of middle school, your students are growing, changing every day. You're not sure who they are some days they'll get here and they will find a home, they will find a position, they'll find an environment within this environment that appeals to them. It's not perfect, every high school has challenges, but there's so many avenues here for that middle schooler to come in and transition into a high schooler. There's so many resources available, there's so many people who are focused in on that transitional process of becoming, going from a middle schooler to a high schooler and helping those kids along the way as Aaron, my wife, and I looked at schools, one of the biggest things that stood out to us for BK in particular, 
pull up the list of where their recent graduates go, where we came from. The kids went to four or five colleges or trade schools. You pull up last year's graduating class from BK and there's 70 schools across the country. Notre Dame, Stanford, um, MIT, you name it. The kids have opportunities to go and excel and they're prepared to excel when they get there. In closing, I apologize for me and I hope that I have done a good, part, a good job of, of at least letting you witness some of the thought process my wife and I had uh, in making the decision to move to BK and making this our family and our home. And I encourage you to, to, uh, to do your research and to reach out and, and talk to people. They will, they will tell you much better than I've done on this video uh, just how great BK is. Welcome to our last stop of the evening. At this point, you've heard from a number of students, one of our faculty members, and a parent. And I'm joined here by Ms. Shockey, our Director of Admissions. Welcome. Thank you. So at this point, I'm sure that we have parents that are just dying to just jump on the application I hope process. So, I hope so, so. <laughs> uh, for those that are, that are eagerly awaiting next steps, why don't you just tell them about our application sure. process? Sure. So in order to apply, you want to head to our website, bk.org. Underneath admissions, there is a drop down that says online application. And there you will find all the instructions that you need. Essentially, you're going to uh, upload some documents. You will submit that to us. We will send you a link to, to complete the, com the application. Once both steps are done, the application is complete. So it's, it's pretty, pretty easy process. Just head to the website, online application, underneath admissions. Of course, if you need help with any of it at any time, I'm always happy to help you through that. Give us a call here at school and I can help you. So call if you get scared. It's not that <laughs> difficult, right. but there are some, some things that you have to go through in the process. Correct. So uh, for those of you that are maybe not, still have some questions, one question that often comes up um, because we are a private school is tuition and in particular tuition assistance. So sure. we do have a, a robust tuition assistance program, but maybe Kelly, you can tell them a little Absolutely. bit about our process. Yeah. Yeah, we do absolutely want families to be here um, and take advantage of this opportunity and really don't want finances to, to prevent that from happening. So we do have a robust uh, tuition assistance program. It is entirely need-based um, and the, that, that application process is a little bit different. It's a separate uh, application from the enrollment application. The financial assistance application won't be due until the end of April and that is because you will also need to attach your tax returns. Um, it is an application that you can also find on that online application page underneath admissions and you'll print that out, complete it, and send that in. So separate application for tuition assistance. It is in due April 30th and again it is need-based but we want to help as many families as we can make this opportunity happen. Great. Um, for, for others, they might have questions about, um, you know, just, just in general, how am I going to fit in? I'm coming from, you know, maybe a, a, a school where I'm the only student that's, that's, you know, in my friend group that's coming to Bishop Kelly. So oftentimes one of the fears that parents or in particular students have is how am I going to make new friends? You know, we have students coming from anywhere from 40 to 60 different schools every year in, that make up our freshman class. So it's not uncommon that a student would be coming in um, a little bit nervous from, sure. a, from a social aspect. So um, maybe we could talk a little bit about how we integrate students and how we get them um, to, to feel part of the community right away. So one of the things that, that we really encourage all of our freshmen is to find a way to get involved. Oftentimes that takes place in as early as June when we start summer camps for, for athletics or even some of our academic camps that we offer. So get involved early. Um, but we recognize not all students um, have that opportunity or maybe are not interested in activities or athletics and, and those types of things. So what we do here at Bishop Kelly is find other ways that we can get our, our freshmen involved in clubs. We have a lot of different clubs mm -hmm. um, to offer for students. Um, some of them are um, social clubs and activities and... and um, academic teams. Academic teams, service groups. Robotics, we have that yeah. type of thing. Yeah. yeah. I want to talk a little bit about some of the things that we offer outside of the typical kind of athletics and activities. What are some other yeah, things that students well, get involved in? They have a lot of fun uh, with speech and debate, super successful, and they, they do incredible things. We have uh, drama. 
our drama uh, group puts on a fall and a spring production every year. We have choir, um, orchestra, band, lots of ways to get involved performing arts-wise. Um, clubs, like you said, are, are, are ways to do that. I think robotics is one of the ones that's really growing right now, and, and, yeah. Oh, yes. yeah. and a lot, they have a lot of fun. Um, the other thing that's kind of cool is if students have a particular interest that they are passionate about and really want to create that we don't have, there's a pretty easy avenue to creating that club for your own interest there. So as you get, you know, get enough interest in, in students that are, want to join that activity, we can make that happen too if, if there's that interest. So yeah. it's kind of cool. And currently we're doing something called community time. So every Tuesday and Thursday um, we get students together that, are, that have common interests and they form a community and they get together for about 40 minutes um, on Tuesdays and again on Thursdays and we have a variety of different communities that everyone is involved in. And so that's another way that we um, help kind of blend students that are in the same class but also in students across different classes. So um, maybe the last thing, some, you know, oftentimes we have students coming here because they just are high achievers, really um, gung-ho on their academics and, you know, want to be challenged academically. And so for those students, um, which is many of our students, um, we have a lot of high-level um, rigorous coursework to offer. We have over 20 AP courses, um, 13 courses that are, that are concurrent or dual credit where they can re um, um, receive college credit um, as they finish those courses here at Bishop Kelly. Um, and oftentimes our students are entering college having their first year or more finished already, so they're only needing thir or three years of, of, of college instead of four. So we have a lot of opportunities for yeah. students to do advanced coursework. Mm -hmm. Additionally, we have a program called AP Capstone. So those students that really want to dive deep into research projects, it's a two-year program where we have um, their one year they just focus on the process of research and writing, and the next year they really dive into actually the research itself and, and focusing on a particular topic that they're interested in. So a lot of opportunities to, for students to be challenged. Absolutely. So I think that probably sums up um, maybe, maybe some additional information that we haven't covered anything that well, you think we have Well, I might throw yet? out, I just want to make uh, families aware that this year we are able to offer shadow visits. So if you have an 8th, ninth, or 10th grade student at a public school who'd like to come and check us out for a morning and just see, you know, is it a good fit? Is this a place that I could see myself going um, and, and learn more about us, meet coaches, meet teachers, etc.? give me a call again and we can set up a shadow visit for them as well. So that's, that's one opportunity at tours as well. So give me a call, talk to me, and, and I can help you with those opportunities. And basically, if you have any questions at this point, if you're not sure and you just have, have some other lingering questions, give Kelly a call. <laughs> she will take care of you and answer all the questions that you have. I will do my have. best. Yeah. So at this point, we're going to close our new, new student information night. We'd invite you to do two things. One, we're going to have some parting words from our students that will uh, kind of close out this session. And then we'd ask you to jump on our website and take a virtual tour. We have our departments that have done various videos to introduce um, their, their de respective departments and their expectations and, and just to give you an overview of, of different things. And so jump on our website and click around our virtual tour and, and gather some more information. And again, if you have any follow-up questions, give Kelly a call. And we look forward to ho hopefully seeing you as a shadow and most definitely seeing you next August as we um, start a new school year. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Bella and I like BK because of the community and because of the teachers. They truly make me feel like I belong and I'm supposed to be here. My name is James Nonambosi and I'm class of 2022 at Bishop Kelly High School. And I would say the best reason to go to BK is definitely to make friendships at last a lifetime, last until you go to college and even after college. I made some of the greatest friends here and I'll always be talking to them even when I'm in college. Uh, hi, my name is Gia. I'm going to be a senior next year. Uh, I'm very excited that you are considering coming here to Bishop Kelly. Um, and I think one of the main reasons why you're really going to love BK is that we have such a accepting community here at the school uh, among the faculty, staff, teachers, other students. It's really just a collective environment where everybody can find their place to thrive, whether that be within your classrooms, in sports or activities, clubs, there's a place for everybody here, and I think that's what makes the community of students and faculty here so amazing. I'm Luke Legretta. I'm a junior at BK, 
The thing that I love most about this school is the friendships that I've made. I didn't expect to make so many great friends and great memories. Also, the school will challenge you academically and it will also help with many things that come up in your life. Here at BK, we're really just one big family. Any sports game, we're always cheering each other on, having a lot of fun, and that even carries into the classrooms. You can tell every teacher, every faculty member really cares about you and wants the best for you. Hi, I'm Kerr Nelson, and I'm a sophomore at BK. I think you should become a knight because there is really no downside. Great academics and great athletics.